Hello, I'm Carrie Hennessy, and welcome to The Dirt. This gorgeous Fraxinus Americana I am standing under may not be here in a couple years. A little insect called emerald ash borer is wreaking havoc on ash trees in the United States. Emerald ash borer is an accidental import that hitched a ride on some shipping crates from China about 10 years ago. Since then, the insects have spread into Wisconsin, the larvae tunneling under the bark and killing ash trees. The insects were first discovered in Wisconsin in 2008, and every year more are being found in our forests and cities. Individual trees can be treated to help save them, but treating every ash tree in Wisconsin isn't a practical option. In today's episode, I'll be discussing five different trees that are beautiful alternatives for, for replacing ash trees in your yard. A few decades ago, elm trees went through a similar upheaval. Entire communities saw their elm-lined streets destroyed by Dutch elm disease, which is spread by another Asian import, the elm bark beetle. Today, though, elm trees are going through a renaissance with the introduction of disease-resistant cultivars and hybrids. Johnson's Nursery grows several different cultivars of true American elms, like Jefferson and Princeton, as well as hybrids like Accolade and Frontier. Elm trees are a fast-growing option for replacing any lost ash trees and can thrive in wet or dry soil. Another ash tree alternative is the sugar maple. Not only do sugar maples make excellent shade trees and provide habitat for wildlife, but they support an important Wisconsin industry. This bottle of maple syrup was made by tapping a very old stand of sugar maples at the Johnson's Nursery Tree Farm in Jackson, Wisconsin. Sugar maples are the state tree of Wisconsin, and their fall color change makes our autumns really special. They are a little more particular than ash trees, preferring a rich, well-drained soil, so you'll definitely want to amend with some compost when installing one in your yard. State Street Miyabi Maple is not native to Wisconsin, but is tough as nails if you have poor, compacted soil, which is especially common in urban areas near streets or sidewalks. The leaves are a lush green through summer, turning an electric chartreuse in the fall. The bark has an unusual texture with deep grooves that will make it stand out in winter. Honey locust trees are often overlooked as a shade tree option, perhaps because people think of them as old fashioned or they remember the long pods that would fall from female trees. But the dappled shade they cast is perfect for placing near a patio and makes it easy to underplant them with perennials and shrubs. They can also tolerate wet, dry, rich or poor soils. Johnson's Nursery only carries the seedless male cultivars, from the shorter statured imperial variety to the towering variety called Skyline. I saved my favorite tree for last. This is a Kentucky coffee tree, another Wisconsin native. It's a slow growing tree, so you can plant it near an existing ash tree. By the time the ash is in decline, the coffee tree will be ready to take over the space. At Johnson's Nursery, we affectionately refer to Kentucky coffee trees as ugly ducklings. They are very odd looking when young, consider your own awkward adolescent years, but are just gorgeous as they mature. Coffee trees are incredibly versatile. They can grow in sun or shade, tolerate wet or dry soil, and have very few pest or disease problems. All in all, a perfect addition to your yard. It remains to be seen just how devastating the loss of ash trees will be, since there are currently over 700 million in our Wisconsin forests. Maybe 30 years from now, they'll discover specimens that are resistant to emerald ash borer, like they did with elm trees. In the meantime, fall is the ideal time to start proactively replacing ash trees in your yard. The soil is still warm from summer, and the nights are cooler the perfect recipe for establishing roots. I'm Carrie Hennessy. Thank you for watching The Dirt.